Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. Today we're going to be doing a hidden spine, sewing a signature into a hidden spine, and then putting the spine into a, a journal base. So that's what we're about today. I've done a little prep work. Uh, I have my double side tape on the fabric that I'm going to use to cover this with. Because if you're going to put this in, you're going to sew a signature in it and put it in, you should cover it with whatever, if it's paper or fabric, whatever you're going to do, you should cover it before you sew it in and place it into the journal. Because you can't do it after that. <laughs> so just saying. Alright, and I have put double stick tape on the back of this, and I'll show you how I made this. First, let's start with uh, getting our signature together. Same as before, well, same as before, except for I've got an extra sheet in here that I didn't need to have. Okay, same as before, I've got eight sheets, just folding them over. Now, this journal base is a little bit shorter than the, uh, the envelope one, because you're working with, you know, the height of the file folder. So, what we're going to do is... Go ahead and press this down after we fold it, and then measure so that it'll sit in here comfortably and not be too tall for our area. So, let me grab a pencil. I've got uh, about an eighth of an inch up there, so I want that much down here. Just eyeballing that. So, we're going to trim that off. And we'll trim this even at the edge. You don't have to trim this part. It's just something I like to do because, well, I like them to look like a book, I guess, is what I'm going for. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to do this, this part first, and then I'll do the bottom trim off, okay? This has a metal edge to this ruler, so I'm going to use that. I line it up on a line like we did in our regular sewn signature and use our metal edge of our ruler as a guide yep so once you have it on there hold it as still as possible because if it wiggles around on you that's just going to create problems <laughs> now you can use a craft knife to do this and a lot of people do and that's okay I I have better luck with uh, the rotary you can use uh, a guillotine to do this if you got a big one that works uh, I do but it's it's really big and I don't want to put it on camera it's too uh, I don't think I could get my camera up high enough to be able to see to see what I'm doing with it okay so I'm gonna get this line that I made this little of where to trim lined up on a line and have this straight on a line so that I know that I'm as straight-ish as I can get it, okay? So, there we go. Just trim that off. And we've got it. Get your little extra bits off. Okay, so that'll be our signature. Let me get rid of all this uh, out of the way. Sometimes we just have to clear the area. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Now that we've got that done, that out of the So it's the same as before. We're going to clip here. And here. Don't get too close to down here because that's where you're going to be poking holes. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put this on here. And I cut it to just fit. Just so. Yeah, just so. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and get this on here. And then we'll... Um, 
if I can find my little bit. Here it is. And then we'll get our signature sewn into it, and then we'll put it down. It's not comp. It's well, it could get a little complicated, but it's not really bad. Um, yeah. Do I want to do this or do I want to do that? I'm going to do this. So, yeah, with this, it's not, it's the same thing, only you're kind of being a little bit sneaky <laughs> because, you know, they call it the hidden spine. Uh, and that's okay. All right. Got our glue. And we're going to just lightly go over some areas on this so that if I don't get it on there just right, I can move it a little, you know. Maybe I'll do that on, no, I'm going to do it on here. Just so that we get some maneuverability. Stay on the tape, <laughs> you know. There's uh you won't make glue lines if you're on the if you're on the tape, right? So with the glue and the tape you get a lot of uh a lot of hold. And that's what you're going with when you, you just want some quality, right? Okay. So, we're going to go here and put this on there. And I did iron my um my fabric. It just works out better to do that. With some things you don't really have to have to have to, but I don't know. When you're going to be doing something a little bit tedious, it's best to just make sure your fabric is flat and you don't have a bunch of crinkles on it, right? Okay, so now we've got that together. We're going to go ahead and bring out our packaging. <laughs> Let me put this away so my glue doesn't dry up. Okay, so we've got our thread, our needles, and our awl. And... What I did for this, <clears throat> let me explain myself. I just measured and I got it the same length as this. You can go a little shorter if you'd like. You don't have to be exact. And I made sure that this would sit inside here. So whatever size your spine is, put this just a, just a tiny, tiny bit smaller. Maybe not even a whole eighth of an inch. Just a tiny bit so that it sits in there and doesn't give you any kind of grief when you're putting it in, right? Okay, so now that's what I did for that. So this is our our hidden spine. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do is sit this in our tray like so. And then we poke our holes somewhere in the center of that and don't stick my head in the camera right because then you can't see <laughs> okay I'm trying here um, yep you want it to have that little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom so you're gonna go an inch down it's just sort of my go-to now you can measure that if you'd like an inch up and somewhere in the middle okay then set that aside our needle with my nibs as well so there you go where's my needle well that's awkward I guess I'll use a big one Hmm. Is it in there? Nope. Okay, I have a smaller one that I really prefer using, but I don't see it right now. And I just 
I'm being lazy, so I'm not going to go hunt it. <laughs> okay, so with me, I don't cut the thread off. Some people can measure it, and it comes out great for them, and that's great. With me, I'm going to leave it on there. That way I don't run out, if that makes sense. This is a little bit bigger needle, so I'm going to have to be a little bit forceful. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go back up our hole here at the top. And then through there, hopefully we're coming out at the right place. Yep. Okay. Okay. Then once we're in there, we're going to come back down here and go through this one. As I said in the other video, if you're really, really new to doing this, just do four to six pages for your signature. That's uh, simpler to do. But, you know, for a full signature, to me, I think it's, I don't know, six to ten, I guess. It's what, how I figure it. Um, and that's okay if you do a little more if you do a little less it's it's all good we're going to go back through here and try not to sew through your thread you want your thread to be on both sides of your middle line just like before okay all right now Let me get rid of these. Okay. You want to make sure these are really tight. Pull them this way and that way, whatever, you know, whatever gets you there, right? And I go through here twice to make a double knot, and then I do it again. So. And there's our signature sewn in to our to our hidden spine and we'll get we'll get our hidden spine in our journal okay again you still have to do this you have to work your pages get them sort of used to this new new life you've given them right okay so now we've got all this and the reason I put my tape on there first is that it will be really lumpy bumpy to have to put it on there afterwards. If that makes sense. Okay. Now I'm going to take this middle one off and I'm going to leave the other ones on because it's uh, that's the part I'm going to be putting down. And you know, just work with it. If you're using the double stick tape, I like it because it gives me extra security. But if you're not, just put glue on this area, you know, uh, and it'll be fine. There. It just pulls right off, though. I mean, it's just the backing. So what you're going to do is this gives me... Uh, again, security. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I want to be able to move this around if I don't get it down just right the first time, because uh, double stick tape will stick instantly, <laughs> and it's hard to move if you don't put the glue on there. So, if you're going to use double stick tape, use it safely. <laughs> Proceed with caution. It's good stuff to use. It's just, uh, yeah, you have to be careful. There's no up or down on this, so I'm just going to put it how I put it. Where's the top? This is the top. So let's put it in top side first, right? Okay, so 
we've got our spine. So we're going to sit this like so, just kind of carefully seated in there. Yeah. And wiggle it around till you get it to where you want it. And press that down. Because you want that to be down really, really good. And then we'll put these ones down. Let's make sure we've got really, really good on both sides, right? Okay. All right. There we go. Now we've got our spine started in there. Let's get this tape off and put it down. This gives you a really secure... Um, sewn-in signature, and um, you don't have to sew through your whole journal. I don't use this as much. Every now and then, you know, every now and then, we do something like this. But if it's your favorite method, then here's a simple, easy way to do it. All right? Uh, I think that I would probably... If somebody is really new to paper crafting, uh, whether it's making journals or cards or albums or scrapbooks or whatever you're doing, I would just say try a lot of different things. And you'll end up finding your favorite things. And they'll become your go-to things. And then before you know it, you'll be putting these things together just really simply and easily and it won't be a it won't be a big scary bear to you so yeah it's it's all about the fun and this one is fun i mean it's it's nice there are things that you have to think about and plan out when you're doing a um a hidden spine you need to make sure you're Covering it with whatever you're going to cover it with before you sew your signature in. That, that's important. And you need to make sure you get your measurement inside your spine in your journal. Um, and then just go at it. Yeah. And make it pretty. <laughs> uh Okay, so now a lot of this, this will probably be matted over, but you've got something pretty for your center of your spine, and that's always nice. Then you go back in and you fold up everything to make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to do, right? And there you go. You've got your signature in, and... It's ready to become a journal, whatever you want to do with it, you know. Um, I leave my strings long because that leaves your options. If you want to tie a bow, if you want to put charms, whatever you want to do with that. So there you go. We've got a really nice um, little journal started, you know. So um, it's fun. It's fun and it is easy once you get your feet on your under you, you know, get your bearings straight. It's just getting that done. But that's an easy way to do the hidden spine. And then you've not sewn through here. I I don't mind the sewing through there. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you don't want that those strings down through there or holes poked through there. Anyways, it's in there. It's not coming out unless you rip the whole thing apart, right? Because it's in there very securely. So there you go. Really quick and easy. Once you get to once you get to know your stuff, right? <laughs> so okay. You guys have fun with this. I hope it's helping you uh this series. Um I'm doing my best to think of all the little things that would make things just simple and easy for other people who might not have done it before or, or it didn't go quite go right for them. So I hope this works for you. 
Um, it's just my quick and easy way. I, I always try to make it as easy as possible. Every time I make a journal, oh, I'm going to do it this way. You know, you just work out the problems, right? Okay, so I'll quit rambling now. Oh, yes. If you want to be in the draw for a free digital journal kit, um, they're really pretty. Uh, you can uh, just make a comment below and you'll be entered into the drawing for the free di digital kit. Um, and if you want to practice this, there's loads and loads and loads of uh, freebies on my website. Uh, julieworthington.com uh, I've got some extra instructions down below if you have trouble getting the freebies. They're just there uh, under the freebies tab. And you can go get those and practice and practice um, as much as you need to. So, yeah. Uh, if you want to be in the draw, I'm doing four digital journal kits. When I get to 700, 800, 900, and 1,000, I'm going to be doing a draw and a journal kit will be given away to whoever wins the draw. It doesn't matter how many times you've made a comment. Every time you make another comment, you're still in the draw again. So, yeah. Make a comment. Say hi. And I'll put your name in the drawing. <laughs> okay, you guys take care. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. TTFN.